Barriers to Student Involvement in School-Based Ag Education at Southeast Bullock Middle School. Currently, there is a high turnover of ag teachers at Southeast Bullock Middle. Um, I am the third ag teacher in the program's third year. Um, current student awareness of the ag program and current student involvement in the FFA chapter um, is very low, um, but there's a lot of county support for the ag program. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's not much research that has been done about barriers to student involvement, um, but there has been studies on recruitment strategies for teachers in college to go into ag education programs. Um, and then recruitment strategies that ag teachers use and what they perceive to be the most effective. So there's a gap in research about barriers to student involvement and then barriers to um, teacher preps and um, teacher recruitment strategies that are effective. Administrators are trying to match community support for ag programs here in Bullock County. Um, Bullock County is a very rural community and so a lot of residents work in the agriculture industry. Um, exposure to school-based ag education could be pertinent for students that are going to remain in Bullock County after they graduate high school. The purpose of this study is to identify barriers to student involvement in school-based agricultural education programs at Southeast Bullock Middle School. So school-based ag education is a service learning program that is delivered through three integral parts um, of something called the three um, component model. Um, so the three parts are classroom lab instruction, supervised agricultural, supervised agricultural experience programs, and the National FFA organization. Um, so the three component model allows students to receive um, inquiry-based instruction, implement service learning or work-based learning through their SAEs, um, and then experience the benefits of the National FFA organization. Agriculture provides connections for students um, so they can learn an appreciation for the world they live in and then can be connected to their communities in a better world. Um, experiential learning allows students to go through the stages where they plan something, they think about it, they observe someone, they do something. Um, and then SAEs and FFA also allow them to, to bridge the gap between what they learn in the classroom and then how they can apply their understanding. So how this would work ideally, um, participants from Southeast Bullock Middle School. Um, so sixth, seventh and eighth grade students, um, counselors, teachers, administrators. Um, my thought process is that um, all of these participants have something to do with why someone is in a class or not in a class, um, how many times they take a class, everyone can kind of have um, a little bit of input on that. And so I think to accurately find the, the, the barriers to student involvement, um, it needs to include everybody that could potentially affect it. Um, the study process will consist of a questionnaire and an interview. Um, so it'll be multiple choice questions and then there'll be a five point like scale. Um, data analysis, so responses will be grouped together based on similarities. Um, and then responses will be analyzed to find um, current knowledge about the three component model, reasons students do not participate in FFA, um, the impression of SAE programs, and then assumptions of a school-based agricultural education program um, and its components. So that is my PowerPoint. Um, I This is a little shorter than it's supposed to be, but I have done this four times now and over the five minute mark, which is my free um, screencastify. So um, a little short, but thanks for watching.